that's raised by it really gets to the heart of what the show is all about. And uh, the question that we're going to ask you to consider is really what um, the review committee has to consider. And that has to do with whether or not videos can actually influence people to do things. So when we, well, here we are. All right. I want you to, uh, I want you to think carefully about this question when you're when you're watching this next video because it's very important. It gets to the heart of what this show is about and uh, what the review committee has to think about. And that is, do videos actually have the power to influence people to do things? And the director of that last video, I thought, was very eloquent on the topic that uh, videos are out of line when they actually influence people to take actions which are damaging to themselves or others. So um, the question, I'm going to bring it up on the screen if we can, the 1-900 question for you folks at home is, in this next video, which is called Morning Suicide, uh, can videos influence youth suicide? If you think videos could actually push someone over the edge or cause someone to think of suicide, consider it as a possibility, you would say yes and dial 1-900-273-1111. If you don't think videos have that power and you don't think that a person's decision to take their own life could be influenced by something they saw on TV, like a video, you would say no and dial 1-900-273-2222. It'll cost you 60 cents to register your vote. I think it's an important issue and it really gets to the heart of the power that videos have in our society. So think about it while you watch the numbers go by on the screen and you watch this video. It's called Morning Suicide. The band is called SFH and this video was way too much for much.
Morning Suicide by the band SFH on Too Much For Much. It was too much for us. Was it too much for you? No. It was not upsetting or disturbing? No, because they kept on asking the question, why? Why do you want to die? I don't, I don't think it was implying uh, that this person should try and kill herself. All right, there's one opinion, and we're going to hear many more. We're going to find out what people across the country think, as a matter of fact. Right now, I want to ask you folks to come back to Much With Me, where we can resume the discussion. We have the lead singer, uh, who you saw in the video with us, to talk about it. Now we're going to show you another little piece of tape that'll teach you how to use your telephone. Roll it. We want to hear your views about these videos, and we want to hear them now. You can phone us at 1-800-265-6824. Fax us at 416-591-6824. Get in touch with Too Much For Much. Okay, so you know how to use your phone and fax machine. Please use them and uh, get in touch with us. We want to talk to you as well. The review committee has already spoken to us on this video, Morning Suicide. Let's look at what the review committee had to say. The review committee says, Morning Suicide. Because this video depicts suicide without explanation, it could be interpreted as an endorsement of suicide. It could suggest that suicide should be considered a logical way out. That's what our review committee had to say. Um, that it could be considered an endorsement of suicide, and that's a very serious charge, and it was enough to take... To take <laughs> they'd made the decision to take it out of uh, any possibility of rotation or seeing it, except on this show on this one night. Now, we also had the quick tally audience, as you saw, responding to the video. Let's see if there are any specific points. Is that fast enough to turn around quick tally results, Sean? Yeah, it sure is, Evie. Okay. It's almost instantaneous, actually. And you're right, there were about three particular points in this video that kind of spiked the graph a little bit although the general consensus was quite flat. Let's go to the graph. We'll show you what we did get this time. Okay, uh, the first three minutes of the video, there really wasn't a lot of movement. The first time it goes up a little bit right here, that was when she was taking the pills. The second time, which was probably the highest uh, reaction uh, to uh, an image in the video, was her lifeless body on the uh, bed as she was falling. Then it really tapered off. And once again, near the end, the, the bags in the bodies uh, evoked a bit of response to that, uh, you know, to those images. Other than that, uh, generally the consensus was was not that strong, but those particular points did bring out a bit of reaction from the people in our quick tally environment. Okay, and that's back to you, Abby. Thanks, Sean. Well, we have uh, in the environment with us the lead singer, who you will surely recognize from the video. He's not exactly a person you can miss, Bob, lead singer of SFH. There were a couple of points that 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 people really, really uh, didn't like in that video. I'm waiting to find out which exact points they are because I, d I don't find anything wrong with the video. People are reading too much out of stuff. There were obviously images, though, that people found disturbing. Some people find Bugs Bunny disturbing. You know? It's true. So what are we going to do? Pick apart everything we see that, that one person might, might not like? We can't go on the assumption that the whole world's full of pinheads. Well, you know, the, the, the thing that I found uh, disturbing um, was not the depiction of the suicide, which is a real thing, and uh, in the right context, I mean, I, I suppose it could be a really important thing for people to watch. What freaked me out when I was watching it was you, because there were, there were moments when you seemed to sort of be, I don't know, grinning. <laughs> y it looked like you were grinning in, in a certain part, and that, that I found kind of scary. I mean, to me, that had a, sort of a real menacing quality to it. What were you thinking? What were you... Oh, we have it on... The, we, do we have a shot of that on the monitors? Of the part that I'm talking about? Yeah, wh what were you thinking when you did that? I was thinking I got about another hour and a half worth of studio time and I have to get out of there. But I mean, you're... you're Seriously. But Seriously. You're, we were under the budget to get that thing done. And uh, we weren't in there going, oh boy, better watch what we say and what we do for... You know, I mean, to be honest with you, we could have done what... There's an average of, of how people kill themselves. And we, we took this right out of uh, Western Ontario, University of Western Ontario. Males commit suicide the top percentage by guns. It doesn't say where or how, but or how is guns. It doesn't say where, but I imagine blowing their head off. F with females, it's drugs. Didn't say what kind of drugs. It just said drugs. And so we just went with the with you know the law of average. And uh, people, some people were offended by it. Most people I uh, played for, not a problem. But I, I'm still. I just I'm stuck on that moment where it looks to me like you've got that kind of evil grin happening, and that to me. I am talking about that because, I mean, in the context... Of that pretty well, you didn't answer the question. What, what, what was that meant to, to show people? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's just me. I'm a smiling guy. But it's not a funny topic. Well, it's not a funny topic, but 
you'll find that some people, when they've dealt with suicides before, are the only kind of people that'll talk about it. And we're talking about it. And some people that don't want to talk about it, that's fine. But you just can't ignore, ignore the situation and shun it, shun it away. We actually have a couple of people here that deal with suicide every day. I'm just going to take the conversation over to a couple of paid professionals who work on uh, the children. Is, is it the kids' help phone? Just introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sandra. You're Sandra. And, and I'm Bonnie Sue. Bonnie Sue. What was your gut feeling when you were watching that video? Would, could it have an, an effect on kids who are in a vulnerable state? Well, not only kids. I, I mean, it had an effect on me personally. Um, but yeah, um, what I saw basically was um, a young girl uh, with no apparent reason to be upset or sad or depressed because we didn't see anything. We didn't have a context around which this person was depressed to be suicidal or to commit suicide. Um, there was no scenario around it. There was, she's on the phone. She hangs up the phone. I guess she can't get through. Um, she goes upstairs, takes pills and alcohol, and commits suicide. And then we see the body bags afterwards. Um, I talk to kids every day. Um, I talk to kids that are depressed. And what we try to do is we try to bring out the reasons why. We try to find out what it is in their life that makes them depressed and makes them want to do this. Um, and if we don't do that, then, you know, I fail as a counselor because I felt that if you're going to do something positive and you're going to prevent these kids from doing this or if you're sending a positive message in terms of, you know, not doing this or talking to someone about this, I didn't see that message in this video. What, what about the line, why do you want to die, which was repeated a number of times? Isn't that the question that you're asking? Yeah, but it is positive. The lyrics I found were positive, and I do admire you for that, because the lyrics were positive. Why do you want to die? That was very um, expressive. I could hear that coming through. Um, the born to suicide, however, was very controversial. It can, you know, it, uh, but, I mean, again, um, the lyrical context was good, but the visual context was not enough to support the lyrics. Bonnie Sue, what, what do you think that a young person who is in a vulnerable state, w how do you think they would react to this? As, as a counselor, are you concerned that, about the effect it would have? I'm definitely concerned about the effect. I think um, a person in a vulnerable position like this, someone who's feeling isolated, um, feeling depressed, feeling hopeless, worthless, I think this, someone who has suicidal ideation can definitely, this can be a trigger for them, and I think that's a very serious thing. This can definitely be a trigger. Well, how do we treat this topic then? It's a major topic, it's very serious. How do we make videos that could be a positive influence in this struggle? I would think to bring in some of the circumstances that might lead someone to be in a depressed state, um, some of the signs, what we should look for if we see you know, a, a friend who's having possibly, um, for example, eating and sleeping disorders, someone who's withdrawing from society, not getting together with friends, someone who maybe is giving away all their prized possessions because you know, they know they're not going to be around too much longer. Someone who has attempted suicide before. Um, really, to, really to be aware, to educate people on the signs of what to look for in a friend or whoever, as well as what can we do once we see the signs? How do we approach that person? And some of the things that we should do um, are is definitely to be direct. If we notice these signs in people around us, we should go up to them and be available to them, be a friend, talk to them, say, Bring it up. Don't beat around the bush. Say, you know, you, you seem really depressed. Are, are you thinking about suicide? Um, I'm here for you. Okay. All right. But hang on. That's the song right there. If you read the lyrics and you read them properly, you'll understand that it says, you got this problem? Yeah, I've had that problem too. You got this problem? You got this problem? You got this problem? And it's always, there's the problems. Why do you want to die? You know, I think, I think that what it's coming down to is, is context. It's definitely, it's not the lyrics at all. It's, not. it's really not the lyrics. It's this, it's... it's Okay, you know what, this, this conversation is starting to explode, which is great, but we're, we, we, we got a lot of other people we want to we wanna get to. I just want to take a quick break so we can get that out of the way and come back to this conversation, which is going to continue in the break, you can imagine. Come back with us on Too Much For Much. Solve to three, camera three, can you move in? Let's see who's here, please, okay? We've got some great people, great faces, lots of people with opinion. We've been talking about the video Morning Suicide by SFH, and as usual on this controversial show, the fax machine has been cranking out faxes. I'm going to read a couple of, you, of them right now to get back in the discussion. Eric from Edmondson in New Brunswick, and Eric, whom we've already heard from in Thunder Bay. Eric is really working the fax machine tonight. 
First one, what is wrong with that? He's not condoning suicide. He constantly asks, why do you want to die? Give me a break. Secondly, the question has nothing to do with the video. Yes, videos have the power to influence, but so does the radio. The uh, next fact says, are you kidding? SFH has done an excellent job of de-glamorizing suicide. Much music should play this video as often as it can. Watching the video just makes me happy to be alive. Now, th there are kids out there who are watching this video and saying that it does exactly what you wanted it to do which is get right down to it. What is the problem with it? And it's not giving other solutions. It's saying suicide is the only solution if you're feeling worthless, depressed, um, isolated, um, and you're feeling just hopeless, like you have no reason to live. And there's other alternatives than to overdose, than to take a gun to your head, than to hang yourself. I mean, there's solutions. Go to a friend. Call kids' help them. Call distress lines. Go see a therapist. Sp try speaking to your family. Speak to whoever you can. So Bob, you've, got, you've obviously got the kids who are watching maybe your fans um, who feel that uh, you know, this is not glamorizing suicide. We've got a couple of professionals who talk to kids every day who are on the verge of this very heavy act saying that there's something missing here. Yeah, there's a street value missing here. People can talk all they want about suicide, but if you can't get a hold of the kids, I mean, first of all, <clears throat> you can't talk about, about having kids, like having a friend there with them, because suicide is committed by yourself, yeah. right? And number one is usually you don't know why they commi committed suicide. I mean, for th to answer that question, well, question, we do get a lot of calls with group suicides, kids calling together saying that they are going to do a group suicide. But it's not only, it's, it's not only, but you have to understand something is that, is that they do have reasons, but they do have reasons to do what they do. Okay, this is a decision they make. It's not, it's not that they get up one morning and they say, okay, I'm gonna just blow my brains out. This is a progression. These kids are progressed into committing the act. Well, they're gonna wait around until the video goes, ah, there it is, it's over. No, no that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, it, I'm saying if somebody is just... You're not saying it in your video. You see, you're not saying that in your video. I need longer arms on this show. You're saying that in your lyrics, which is fabulous. Your lyrics are bonus. Your lyrics are great, okay? I'm not condoning the lyrics whatsoever. What I'm condoning or what I have a problem with is the video. You're not saying that in your video. Okay, the, 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 okay. We, got, we, we got one more comment here. Go ahead. First off, the video, right? The people who are watching SFH videos, they're seeing it on select shows, and these people, they're not that, they're, they're not that wound up and tuned up to be, uh, you know... Because, hey, I deal with them daily. I know what a lot of these guys are like. I deal a lot, of, you know, I'm not doing what you're doing, but what I do, I deal with a lot of kids. Okay. I, I wanna, I, and it's like, look, this video is like, if it's gonna be a combination, like you said, of a lot of things. It ain't gonna be one video. If anything, the kid that faxed in and said, this de-glam, you know, de-glamorized it, that's what I got out of it, man. All right, I wanna hear from another kid out there somewhere in the country who's watching. We have someone on the phone? I think we have Amanda, or do we have Amanda on the phone? Yep. Amanda, you're calling from Calgary. Right. What did, what did you think of this video? Um, I don't think the band or the lead singer portrayed the topic of suicide properly. Suicide affected my life directly, and it, it upset me to see that video. The words I agree with everyone do say the right thing, but the video itself, he was... I don't know if he meant to be grinning or if he meant to be smiling, but to me it looked like, yeah, this is okay, go ahead. And it affected my life directly with my best friend, and it really really upset me to see that video like uh, Amanda do you think that a video like this could could have a serious impact on someone who is in a vulnerable state yes, around this decision I really I really and truly do believe it would affect someone like they see this really attractive girl popping these pills drinking this wine and throwing herself on her bed they think hey you know I've been thinking about this for a year and a half let's just do it like that's exactly how I portrayed it how I saw it because that's pretty much the picture of my friend herself so Amanda, thanks a lot for calling in. Thanks. I got chills listening to you talk there. I think so did these people too. Okay. All right. We have got to take another commercial break, but we're going to be back with some more riveting talk on Too Much For Much. Stay with us. We're back live on Too Much For Much. We're talking about videos and their influence on the topic of suicide, kids who are considering it. Let's look at the results from around the country. People who took the time and 60 cents to call in. Can videos influence youth suicide? A majority of you think that they can. 46% think that they can. I'm gonna just whip around the room and canvas the people in the room. Can videos influence youth suicide? <laughs> I, I, how, would, how do I know? We're not gonna be able to talk to a suicide victim and ask them. Nah. Yeah. They could, yeah. 
Yeah, sure, they're selfish. Yeah, they could. Uh-huh. For sure. Yeah. We just heard from one person, and one person is one person too many. Call anywhere, anytime. Kids help phone. Yeah. We got to say goodbye, but it sounds like the kids have spoken. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, coming out tonight. Thanks a lot. Come back next time. All right, that's it. I got some... Uh, I got some buttons. Come, come on, guys. Just off to the address, please. And if you want to be part of the Too Much for Much uh, Quick credit. Tally audience, please call Paul Gerard at 299 music. Queen Street West, Toronto, Ontario, M5D 2Z5. Okay. Let's, uh, and we can credit. lose that. And roll credits, please. Okay, let's hear what...